Hi, I'm Justin Mason from Performance Lexus in St. Catharines. And today I'm gonna to show you the coolest minivan in the entire world, the Lexus LM. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna to explain to you where it fits in the North American market. But before I get into that, make sure you hit like and subscribe for more Lexus related content. Okay, jumping right into things here, the Lexus LM has been around for just a couple years now and they're already on the second generation. It just got a full redesign this year in 2023. And with this new redesign, we see a lot of similarities to some of the other vehicles in the lineup. One of them being the fact that it's a 350H and a 500H powertrain. So we see the same setup as we've seen in the RX 350H and RX 500H, where we have sort of an economical hybrid and a high performance hybrid. And that's not all. We also see some other nuances from other Lexus vehicles in the North American market. Some of them as simple as this grill here. So if you look at the styling of the LM, you'll notice this top of the grill and this sort of part of the bumper reminds me a lot of the RX nose that sort of tapers off into that seamless frameless grill. And the spindle grill itself reminds me of that as well, except it has a little bit different shape. These little wide hexagon shapes that sort of spread out. And it doesn't just stop there. If we look at the headlights with the triple beam LED setup, we have a daytime running light underneath and one above it. The one above it reminds me of the Lexus TX and the presence that that headlight setup has. And the one below it reminds me of some other vehicles in the lineup, like the IS and like the ES, et cetera, et cetera. So styling wise, we have that beautiful front end with a tiny little hood here. <laughs> but also if you look at the side silhouette, it's a very tall vehicle because it's a minivan and it still has some really nice body lines. Like this particular line here, I really like where it sort of subtle, subtly starts in the middle of the front door and then gets a little more chiseled as it gets to the back of the vehicle. I noticed that it has the new E-latch um, door handles and really big windows kind of going towards the back. Here is a perfect example of what it looks like from the side and some of the colors that it comes in. So we have Sonic Quartz 085, which in North America would be our eminent white pearl. We have Sonic Titanium 1J7, which is atomic silver in North America. We have graphite black glass, which is caviar. And I love when black car paint has metallic in it and caviar has a really nice metallic in it because that way it shows off the body lines instead of just washing them away like a flat color would. And then we have Sonic Agate, which was similar to our, I guess, Ruby Red Pearl Metallic, probably. On the interior, we have two different options for paint, for paint, for color. You wouldn't paint the inside. For color, we have Solus White and also Black. No fancy name for that one, just called Black. I think with a vehicle like this, since so much of it is about the interior, I think a light interior is the way to go because it really lightens up that cabin, shows you all the amenities and features. Where in Black, in something like this, we might wash away that. I usually drive a black interior myself, but something about the Lexus LM, I would probably do a lighter interior. When Lexus launched this car, they really wanted the concept to be a moving space where you could return to basics. And you'll see that as I get through the interior of the car, that a lot of it is about, you know, comfort and sort of like, a, it's like going to a spa day, I guess, being in the back of the LM. And they aimed for, to provide a mobile space where you can be free from the hustle and bustle and relax both your mind and body, which I thought was a very old Tanashi of Lexus to design a van like this. It does come in two configurations, a four passenger VIP layout and then like a seven passenger van layout. For today, I'm probably gonna mainly focus on the four passenger. So as you can see, there is someone, a great example of someone sort of relaxing in the back of the LM sipping on, you know, water or champagne or something like that. You can see that comfort is the utmost importance in the LM and I really like what it says here. It says the DNA of Lexus has evolved to provide a comfortable ride in quietness that is tailored 
to your sensibilities. I think that's really cool. Here we see a couple more little video clips of VLM driving. You can see the front end all lit up, the back end taillight sort of design, the gorgeous interior. And this 3D model is actually a great way for me to sort of show you guys around. So in the VIP layout, as you're sitting in one of the seats, you'll see a big screen there um, that sort of blocks off the, the driver to the passengers in the back. Uh, and a lot of that can, can be controlled through these little phone tablets here that can sort of be removed and you can control a lot of the, the all the amenities sort of. This does block off and underneath the screen, we have two glove boxes on either side and then a champagne cooler with a space for glasses in the center there, which is very VIP like. I've always liked to see those in cars. Another little really cool detail is this tray table that folds up and then folds down into the side armrest, but it's more than that. So you'll see it's a soft sort of high quality, soft touch material there. It might be like a leather, but like something that you can still put stuff down on. And that means when you close it, even if you do it really hard, there's no noise. It's still very soft and, and quiet. And also all of the trim around it is all metal. None of it's plastic. So even as you're doing that, it does feel super high end and very attention to detail that Lexus is used for. Also, we have this beautiful perforated panel here. I think there might be some speakers, but I'm not sure, but it is still just gorgeous to look at. It looks very high end, probably covered in the same semi semi aniline leather that the seats are. We have a massive window there that rolls down. Now you'll see on the top in the roof, each passenger has their own sunroof. So if I'm on one side and someone else is on the other and I like my sunroof closed and they like it open, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to agree on anything. The, the car will let you choose who wants what. And you can control a lot of that from the roof control panels up here where you can also open and close the doors. Everything is within reach. You don't have to bend unless you're, you know, reaching for champagne. You don't have to bend to press anything. It's all within reach of your sitting. And again, another very Omotanashi like thing of Lexus. Also, we have this gorgeous wood grain here that sort of, it's kind of got like a little whole um, herringbone, I guess, is that what it's called? Herringbone, where it meets in the center and is very symmetrical right down the center of the vehicle. And I really like that. And we have a vanity mirror and light on either side. Now this design was initially with the LS back in the day. And the whole point of it was, so passengers in the back of the LS could open up that vanity mirror, check their hair, check their makeup before getting out of the vehicle and having the paparazzi right there. Because the LS when it first came out was also like this, where it was mainly owned by people who were chauffeured around. And that's what the LM sort of is all about, especially in the four, the four seater configuration. Uh, looking down at the center, we have that center armrest. We have some seat controls here, massaged, heated and cooled seats on the LM. And we have this gorgeous headrest here. And it really reminds me of when you walk past first class or maybe you stay in first class on an airplane and you can see the head rests that those first class seats have. And, and sort of the whole back of the LM is like a first class seat experience from an airplane. I think that's what they were going for here. And I think they did a good job, if not a better job than even a first class aircraft. Scrolling down, we see a really good depiction of the champagne cooler there and the um, little tablet controller that gives you options for different moods, different experiences in the back, the massage seats, the cool seats, the temperature, the climate, the screen up front, all of those things. You can open and close the blinds using it, which is really cool. And all of that is controlled from this little device and also the radio and stuff like that too. So you can do really anything without having a, to stand up or reach or ask the driver. Now, even though it is more of a vehicle that's for being chauffeured around. It still has all the latest Lexus technology for the driver. In North America, we call it Lexus Safety Sense Plus, but in other markets, it's called Lexus Teammate. So things like traffic jam assist, radar cruise control, advanced park, et cetera, et cetera, is all standard in the Lexus LM. So this begs the question, where does this fit in the North American market? And the answer is it doesn't. The reason the LM has never come to North America is because we don't really have a market for people who buy cars to be chauffeured around in. And when we do have cars like that, 
for whatever the reason, us North Americans like SUVs with like a little bit of that off-road rugged look like Escalades and LX 600s, et cetera, et cetera, instead of, you know, a strict road going, going VIP style minivan. And I think there is space here for the LM. I think it would probably be in the seven seater configuration as maybe a step up from the Toyota Sienna because I do know the Sienna is always in a high demand, low supply scenario, especially in those higher packages. And it'd be really nice to have a luxury version of that for people to turn to when they just want a really high end family mover. And I think that's where the LM could come to market, maybe even just in the LM350H instead of the high performance 500H hybrid. And that's all I really have to talk about with the LM. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the LM, if you think it should come to your country, wherever you might live. And let me know if there's any other videos like this that you wish to see. I'm Justin Mason, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.